Hello. Welcome back. Um, so this, um, this video is going to show you how to um, bring, um, not bring, but uh, get the uh, Warren Gem products to look more like what you'd see with the National Weather Service um, in today's day and age where you've got the uh, impact source, or not the, uh, not impact source, uh, hazard source impact tags and the uh, tags at the end of the, at the end of the warning. So first what you're going to do is same process as uh, changing your office name. Uh, go to uh, um, what is it? Applications. Oh, that changed the entire. Okay, well I guess we'll do that. Applications. Uh, all right, there we go. Applications, system tools, file browser, and then you'll uh, you'll get a default file browser. Go to uh, there we go. Go to Cave Data, Common, Base, and Warn Gen. And again, it's going to be in config.xml, open with uh, gedit. And we will, uh, this time, be looking uh, at the uh, default template and uh, main Warn Gen products um, sections. So, oh, my AC kicked on. So, for default template, uh, to get the impact based warnings, all you have to do is do impact and then uh, whatever the rest of it was. The first word is always going to be uh, in lowercase and then after that capitalization begins. Um, capitalization begins. So you'll want to uh, see impact tornado warning, impact thunderstorm warning, and impact severe weather statement. And also, um, for Warn Gen, the way it works right now is you've got all of these right here. Well, so you don't want all of this, so you just want Tornado through Severe Weather Statement. Close. Go over here back to uh, Gedit. And uh, under Main Warn Gen Products, after Impact Severe Weather Statement, uh, make sure you get the last comma, and then take it down to the uh, closing tag, bracket, whatever that thing is. Click Cut and bring it back down to the other Warn Gen products, paste, click save, and fire up Warn Gen again. And now it's just tornado through severe weather statement. Now also with that, bring uh, bring this down here. We'll go ahead and do this uh, storm in Martin. This uh, storm air quotes in Martin County. Uh, we'll do the same uh, same process we've been doing. Severe thunderstorm, double round of case, 60 mile an hour winds. Go down here, and you'll see a difference. You'll see uh, you've got base, and uh, I believe the E just means uh, heightened. Um, oh, elevated. Um, so we've got the base stuff. We've got uh, the hail sizes, the winds, but now we've got these uh, different. Uh, now we've got these different little tags that we can use. Uh, Turn it possible. Um, and you can do so many other things with uh, with the impact statements. It's not even funny. So again, once we're sure we've got everything set, 60 mile an hour winds, all that. Go down here, create text, generating product. Da -da 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 uh, a web header block comes up. Make sure everything is good. Hit enter, and then um, come down here, and you'll see that now you've got this part as well. With the other uh, with the other ones, you didn't have this. So uh, we'll just go ahead and come through, make sure everything is good, and you'll see that you've also got the uh, you've got time, motion, location, and you've got the hail and wind tags as well. Come through any wild cards you see, uh, fill them in, and we'll go ahead and click send. Go ahead, and since uh, you'll notice that we only have one uh, go ahead that we had to do, that's because of this. If you have a localized site set in, um, it will give you a second one that says, are you sure you want to do this? If you're, if you're sure, do it. If you're not, then don't do it. It's basic math. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So yeah, that's, uh, that's basically all you have to do to get, um, to get the impact warnings is uh, make sure that you do impact in front of the uh, in front of the word, and you can only do it with tornado, severe thunderstorm, and severe weather statement products. Any other ones are going to be the base ones that uh, come with this uh, with this a with uh, a webs. 
So, yeah. Thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you in, in uh, some of my future videos. In the next video, I'll uh, be showing you how to get rid of the test wording. Um, so you'll be, we'll be getting rid of this and this and this. Till then, rock on.